Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Kurama, what Kurama is Naruto, and this is part three, as you guys hit that like or last episode, so this time it's going to have to be 20 likes to get part four. Also, next episode is just going to be Naruto being trained by Kurama, since I decided I want to do that, so Naruto needs to learn some overpowered jutsus, as episode five is going to be tuning exams. Okay, when we left off, Naruto just learned Luji Bomb. And like the other one, like Great Fire, Great Dragon, Fire, Bullshit, whatever one that was. He like just like that one. Yes, and now we're leaving. Also, he knows Fire, Flying Raj, and he has a mark on Haku. Not ha ha Haku, the guy with his other and he actually has a mark on his other son. Yeah, so this is where they start doing the training, like now Sasuke and Sakura, but Naruto doesn't need to do that. And he's decided he's just going to rest for a bit, for a day, and then go back to training. As he's just a master of Bougie Bomb and, um, what was it, what was it, what was it? The fire style thingy. Okay, so while he's resting, he just decides, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go speak speak to Trauma. So he focuses when he uh, appears in, in his like mind, with Kurama in front of him, saying, what do you want, kid? I thought you was resting for a day. And he says, yeah, I am. But for some reason, I can't get this one thing out of my mind. And he, said, um, he said, what is it? He says, if you can give me a truck, girl, can't I mould it? And Chroma thinks about it, thinking, oh, he's getting smart. For his age. And he's like, yeah, you can mould it. And then he's like, wait a minute, I can? He said, yeah, you don't even need to be fully in the form. You have enough control over it. He says, well, let me try. And as he does this, Grandma tells him to focus. And like, well, he wants to create, and he focuses on like two big arms. And the yellow chakra arms come out of his back. This impresses Grandma and makes Naruto extremely happy. He also says, wait a minute. Come, you know how I can summon you? And he says, yeah, okay. He said, can I summon other tired beasts? He, Kurama thought about this for a moment and said, this isn't a good idea. And he says, why not? He said, as most tired beasts are sealed inside Shin Jiroki. Shin, I don't know how to say that word, by the way. So if you summon them, they'll probably, the host will probably die. And Arisa says, oh, isn't there one that hasn't been sealed yet? And he says, I know of one that's actually Bonded with its own, that's bonded with its hosts, like me and you. And he probably, and using my chat card to send him a message, he'll probably remember to leave a tell outside. So now I says, sweet, can we summon him? He says, let's try it. And so using his chat card, now using Kurama's chat card, he focuses it. And eight, uh, eight tells, picks up on this, yeah, it's eight tells he was talking about. And he says, B, I'm gonna be out for a bit. And he says, okay, what do you mean? All of a sudden, he senses that he's given one tail chuck, a tail one of his, one of his ch ch tails that are full of chuck kind, and has disappeared. This makes me fall forward as he just lost that huge amount of chuck in him that says, I guess I'm summoned him, that's all I can think of. And then he appears upon an Naruto. He said, wait, you summoned me? I came here looking for Kurama. <coughs> I mean, no, Kayu Kayubi. He says, I know it was Kurama, and I'm his Jinjuroki, and we're, we're friends. He says, oh, nine tells being friends with human, I never expected that. And he says, oh, whatever, shut up. And he says, my host just wanted to talk to you. He says, sure, kid, what's up? He says, can you give me some of your truck? And this shocks Kurama, and the eight tells, eight tells says, why do you think you deserve my truck? And Kurama says, yeah, you have me. And he says, I'm just thinking, I've read a book about a man called the Sage of Six Park and how he had everyone truck girl. And this sh shooks Kurama and Ape Tells and Kurama send like using his truck girl, he says like a man message to him and saying, Huh, don't you think he looks like the old man? Maybe you should. And then all of a sudden Ape Tells says, Yeah, sure. So he fist bumps Naruto and then Naruto gets some more truck girl than he did in the original. And now to feeling this power goes like he's super excited, but he also the power takes a bit control over him. So Kurama kind of calms it down by suppressing it. And then he says, Oh yeah, can I make a signing contract with you? And he said, Wait, what? He says, Yeah, I made one with Kurama. 
and it's quite easy. I just summon him whenever I want him. He used to tell because he get he knows I'm gonna summon him. Summon him, so he just leaves a bit of truck front me. That's that's not like a good idea. I would do that with my host as well. And he says, sure, okay. Then they make the contract. Now he can summon nine tails, call him that, and the eight tails. Oh, they popped. I'm just gonna call him that. Oh, I just spent five minutes doing that. Okay. He also learns this very very powerful foul style from Kurama, he picked it up from Madara when he was like took over him when he was fighting Hashirama. And it's fire style majestic flame, I think it was that like, huge fireball. And he learned that as Kurama as now to make sure that like, Kurama takes over and all the like knowledge and the ability goes back to Naruto. And if you didn't watch the last episode Naruto has all chakra natures. As Kurama decided if he can use if he can like use the jutsus the nature would go back to Naruto as Shadow Clans work like that. At least that's how I want it to work. This is my serious mind, off my back. Oh, one sec, my dog just stared at me. Oh. Okay, she stopped. Yeah, anyway. So after he knows this, it's James's truck, but also because she's seen the flames, he says, Oh, what's he doing again? I need to go open your things. Uh, nah. And then. Naruto's like, okay, 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 this was meant to be my rest day. And the eight tails laughs and says, okay, I'm going back to B now. And he says, who's, Naruto says, who's B? He says, oh, that's my host. He says, I'd like, Naruto says, I'd like to meet him one day. And B says, I'll tell him about you. So then B goes back to, the eight tail goes back to B. And B asks him what happened. He says, I met the nine tails during, nine tails during Drew. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to say host, okay? I met the nine tails. So B said, what? Yeah, we made a summoning contract, and also I want to make more review. And I talk about that, and we're gonna leave that at that for now. So, as we go back, Naruto starts talking to Korama, who's still summoned. But he's surprising his trap because Kakashi, Kakashi sent him. Don't let them trust me. And he says, "Wait a minute, who was that?" And Korama says, "So you're asking about old man?" And he said. What? He said, the stage of six pass. He said, oh yeah. So Kurama explains it all about the ten tails and all that. And then Naruto's shocked by this, but also happy that Kurama finally told him. And says, is there any way I could speak to him? Kurama laughed and said, not right now, but I think in the future you will, if you want to and not. And then this makes Naruto a bit cautious, but he laughs it off. Okay, skip to the next day. I mean, skip to what Zawaza and Hakuru attack. So, Naruto decides to leave a kunai. And not kunai. A seal. And then he puts like another seal. He puts a seal on the kid. And he puts uh, another seal on, on like a kunai, but it's not the flying margin. Like the flying front of God. It's a seal where you throw it. Naruto gets like an alert in his chakra, like it spikes his chakra quickly. And he just tells me if he's ever in trouble, throw this. But also, the, the seal, the shurikens, but the second, we're just gonna go with kunai. The kunai's actually when I'm out of shadow clones who's placed, who he has placed the flying margin on as well. So yeah, he goes up to them and then, as they're walking, they come across other sons of that. And now to decide, this isn't my fight. But then all of a sudden, Sasuke gets encased in the ice. And this annoys Naruto thinking, why are you going off to my, one of my only friends? And Naruto using a bit of chroma traps with blitzes in there, because he doesn't want to like, use the seal yet as it will shock Kaku and then he'll be more wary. And also he has the seal on his other stuff, so if Kakashi really needs help, he can just help get help from that. So, as they're all fighting, Naruto is leaving it a bit to Sasuke so you can so he can like get some experience, but he realises this guy's out of Sasuke's league. Oh yeah, and I decided to skip the training where Haku and Naruto meet, as ha Haku and Naruto, Naruto wouldn't be exhausted on the floor as he has Kuruma's chakra fully under control. Anyway, but now Haku can sense his real emotions during Kuruma saying, I need to protect him, and this like brings Naruto down to earth. He's like, oh, I'm not all that high and mighty, he's just like me. And this is when Naruto decides, that's it, I'm going to save him. But then, without Naruto realising, so he, 
or like Needles just sit at him, but he's about to move fine until Sasuke gets in the way. He can't save Sasuke in time and he gets impelled. This enrages Naruto and he loses all senses and Kurama's hatred like gets sparked up again and he just says, kid, let me take over. And for the first time, Naruto says, no, in a really demonic voice, this one's mine. And then this shocks Kurama, he tries to stop him a bit and he says, fine, I won't kill him but I'm gonna hurt him. But I think like that, I don't want to sound cringy, so. Yeah, after that, he punches Haku in the face, which smashes up his masks and sends him launching out the mirror, like he smashes up a mirror. And before he, la he lands, Naruto uses the seal he placed him in and slams over Sengen into his chest, which he left in Kurama, by the way, if I didn't mention that in the last episode. No, I did. I did, yeah, he based it off the booty bomb. Haku spits up blood and then Naruto realising, wait, he's dying, heals him quickly. Um, but he only did this as he's like, I'm not done punishing you yet. And then all of a sudden he senses Sasuke's trap card, trap card it's still alive and it calms him down. Yeah, but at this point Sasuke never really did awaken it as he never tried doing all that, his shaman run. But when he woke up and Naruto decided, okay, he might die by opening my chakra, so he gave him chakra. And that sounds like a, since he just think he died, this is awakening a Shangan. <coughs> I plan to Sasuke in the future, so the skin of the two to my in both eyes, in one eye and one in the other. You can have three to my in one eye and two in the other. So it's a lot more powerful already. Well, see, so yeah, I know Sasuke awakening his Shangan against Tachi already, when he killed his entire clan, but I'm a little, but yeah, I'm just saying that so you don't think I'm like a noob of Naruto. And so after this, Haku senses that he needs to save his other son like he's about to die because she's about to shadowy him. And then he flashed towards him. Naruto seeing this, teleports and stops him and realising what she's trying to do. He teleports to Kakashi and gets hit. As he didn't think he, Kakashi was actually going to stab him, he thought he was trying to think, think to now. And Kakashi doing this, he thinks, wait, Naruto. No, and Naruto gets sent, so Naruto bleeds up blood and, and then he just dies. As Kuma decided, wait a minute, this is my perfect opportunity. But not to take over, he wants him to meet the old man, if you get what I mean. Okay, after that, after that, Naruto's inside his head. He's like, Kuma, heal me already. Kuma says, not yet. And all of a sudden, Hagoromo says it far pops up. But so does Minato, using the chakra he placed from Naruto's seal. Hagoromo looks at Minato a bit confused, but decides to blow it off quickly. And explains to Naruto about his destiny. And Naruto says, I'm not ready for that yet. And this shocks the old man, you see, he was always like, wait, this, he's an incarnation of a stupid one, I can't remember his name, I'm going to look it up. He's not even meant to. He's meant. He's not even meant to be this powerful. He says. He says when I'm next. When I next die, I want this. As then I'll be a lot stronger. As I'm not gonna let anyone kill me again. But I'm putting up a fight. And then Minato explains it to him. It, it to him saying how he's all about that and that. All about all the stuff. And then he asks how Chroma is cheating him. To which Chroma appears in just fine. But he's a bit angry at Minato as Kurama thinks of Naruto as a son but also a friend so he's like, I'm gonna steal my thunder, huh? But Naruto doesn't really treat Minato like a father. He treats him as like a stranger at first and then he hears about who he is and all that. And he didn't recognise him at first. But he doesn't really go running at him as anything like that. He isn't full of, he isn't full of rage as instead of leaving him all alone, Minato actually gave him someone to look out for him. So yeah, skipping that. Now, uh, Minato says you're going to attack in a civil which angers Kurama. And Naruto says, don't you dare, in a like really angry voice, put a prayer onto like we're saying, I'm Minato. But Kurama says calm, to calm down. And Hagoromo, right now to realise, and gave him a little bit of a shock, but not the same amount, just a little bit to resurrect him. So when Naruto comes back, Kakashi, who was about to use his, again, Kyoshangan, stops as he realises it and then 
Sabazar, annoyed that Haki wasn't there in time, attempts goes to kill Haki. And Sinisan hasn't had his realisation yet. This angers Naruto beyond belief. And all of a sudden, a tail popped out of his back. And yeah, I'm on a, not like a not like a chakra tail, I mean a real tail. That he stabbed Sabazar so killing him. And all of a sudden you might be thinking, wait a minute, what? This is where we look at Kurama's eyes, who has the sage slash on it, and the black mark in silver red, but this is only Kurama. He's like, wait a minute, that old man, huh? This is the fox sage man I was talking about last episode, but he decides not to tell Naruto and just say, yes, you want to look a bit, a bit of power. And Kakashi see, seeing this, what, seeing this is like, wow. Wait a minute, where did you get that? Wait a minute. The nine tails, he's coming out, isn't he? And he goes to sit. we still now to him, which now to just blocks and says, It's fine. He's my friend, I'll explain later. And after this it all goes normal. But this time now to brings other stuff back to life. But not like all before. He only brings him back to life for a short period of time to apologise to Haku. You Haku. You see a change you thinking differently, being saved by now to him. He decides that he shouldn't be used as a tool anymore, and he decides he's gonna help Naruto accomplish his dreams. And he decides, after all these years, you finally realize how important I am. Huh? Well, apology accepted. And all of a sudden, a thug show up. And go Naruto, who's about to go, like, not cure them, but not from all unconscious. So his other side just points off and says, This is my redemption. And kills them all, like, in the usual, all that, blah, blah, blah. I know I'm watching for this episode, guys, because my dog's kind of freak, freak me out. She's being weird. Oi! Stop! Good girl. So, guys, she was eating her paw. Um, oh, yeah, for those of you wondering, I have a French bulldog. Oh, yeah, so after this, everyone goes back to use it. The ship went and they returned to the village. Haku's attempted to be put under watch, which Naruto literally looks like the Hokari. Dead in the eye says, don't you dare treat him like an outsider, or I will make you an outsider. This sh makes the old man laugh, thinking, looking like, thinking, looking, look, it looks like someone's finally learning their morals. And but the arm, um, but the arm um, we hidden in the room get angry, and now just sends them and says, "Hey, old man, I need to talk to you. You mind sending your arm um, out?" And as I do this, he like throws his hand away, and they all go except for one, Danzo's one. And he says, you, behind the bookcase, leave now or die, up to you. Which the Hokage is shocked by this. He says, yeah. Yeah, but this time, now I won't kill you. I will. Because the Hokage is getting a bit fed up with Danzo. And so I think in this timeline, he would be a bit more aware of what Danzo has did. Like, actually, he did not actually, don't he? Yeah, sorry guys, I had to cut it quick because someone came home and I wanted to talk, so yeah, I just cut it quickly. So yeah, so then Naruto explains all about what happened to Haku and that and how he wants him to come. A full-fledged leaf ninja, which now Hokage laughs and agrees to. And he says, there's one condition, you have to be Naruto's friend, which Haku laughs and says, yes, sir. Okay, so I think I might end it here. But there is one thing I want to add on to this. I can't remember what it was though. Um, that's it. I wanted to add on that next episode will be all cool on my training. Like goes 20. And also, my first video of this has over 400 views and 32 likes, which is absolutely amazing. And also, I think we're at 90 subscribers as, as a point. For the 100 subscribers special, I'm going to do what I said in the start, and I'm going to start that series, what Naruto was, Uchiha, part Uchiha, part Senju, part Uzumaki. Yeah, I'm going to part start that as a 100 subscriber special. Also, can I just make a point? If even half the people who watched the first video subscribed, I'd be at 200 subscribers. By the way, I'm not hating. I just want you to keep that in mind, as if you want more, please like and subscribe. I'm not saying, if you don't do that, that's it, I'm not making videos. I'm just saying, you know, I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe. But yeah, one more thing. In episode four, that's when Naruto's going to learn 
about the sage mode thingy just before episode 5 for the tuning exams. Uh, fuck the fuck sage mode. Okay, also, there's one more thing which I'm not going to tell you, but I know who I'm going to ship Naruto with. But I'm going to put up a poll, you guess, just in case. Actually, I don't know how to put up polls, so forget that. Somebody in the comments tell me to put up polls and I'll do it. Okay, other than that, thank you. Like if you if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that twenty like goal, and just enjoy the video. I'm not telling you if you don't enjoy the video, I'm done. Okay, I need to stop saying that. Just enjoy the video, and yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, have fun. And I didn't stop recording, did I? Okay, have fun. <laughs>